because I don't really like labels. When you give yourself a label or you categorize yourself in some way, people are quick to assume your personality. There are times where I remember uh, feeling out of place. Okay, let's do it. To see it in the mirror, it's really apparent that I'm different. You learn with a bunch of girls mostly, you know, when you start. I really loved the, you know, the pageantry of it, and it just felt really beautiful to me. And I indulged in, you know, the femininity of it a little bit in school with the point classes I took. I had to get permission from the faculty to take classes on the shoes that are traditionally worn by women. But really, I just wanted to be a ballerina. I find myself eating more than I really want to. When I was in school, I wanted to be like ballerina skinny. But I think it was just because everyone else was doing that same thing. So I didn't eat much food. I hated my body for a long time and what it meant to be a male ballet dancer and needing to be strong and powerful and just big and it wasn't about you know how you're lifting your arm you know things like that and and you know just this this soft texture that you see in a lot of female dancers ballet dancers especially that isn't desired is not desired for a male ballet dancer so coming to find what i needed to have as a male ballet dancer was really Disheartening. I was very upset about it. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think my parents knew that I was gay um, for most of my life. I'm pretty certain of it now as I look back at things. And I remember thinking myself when I came out that I was going to be a loss for the black community, that it was, I was, you know, taking away the chance to build a strong black family and a, a successful black family for the black community. But, uh, me as a gay black man is necessary um, for a society. A lot of my view on the way I look and how comfortable I am with it has to do with 
the work that I found for myself. I, I become more comfortable, especially with my body, with the work that I've done recently. I feel that I'm not trying to play a woman, I'm not trying to play a man, I'm just playing myself. I feel beautiful and I feel like a ballerina with, without even trying, I guess I can say. There's much more than what you see, you know, on stage. I think the backstory, what you see behind the curtain, um, is the most beautiful thing about a dancer.